Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. The sun is shining here in the UK and the summer vibes are flowing. So I thought it was a great opportunity to sit down and share with you my current favorite sunscreens. These are the sunscreens that I can trust. The ones that allow me to go out there and enjoy the weather, go for picnics, walks on the beach, enjoy some time with friends, knowing that I've got that locked in guaranteed protection and that my skin has everything it needs to fend off the UV rays. Obviously, you know, there's been a whole lot of change in the last year in terms of sunscreens, but some of these are my tried and tested favorites from last year and some of the reformulated products that have snuck into my skincare routine and I'm honestly loving so much. Whilst these are my five ride or die sunscreens, screens i'd love 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 to know what your current favorites are so make sure you leave me a comment below and also your thoughts and feelings on anything mentioned today while you're down there if you want to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps the channel i'd love you forever but that's the waffle out of the way let's cut all of that and delve into my five favorite sunscreens of 2021 now hot in at number one is this product neod survival now i know i've carried this over from my favorites of last year where i used to fangirl about it all the time i've gone a little bit quiet on it this year because you know what i don't want to keep boring you with the same recommendations time and time again but honestly this is still one of those products that I reach for day in day out this is actually the survival 20 but they do a survival 30 which I'd probably recommend you get your hands on is the one that I've linked below as I'll link all of the products mentioned today this is what I call my day-to-day -day sunscreen. It's got 15 different antioxidants in here which work well with the SPF to just double down on that protection your skin's getting, which I love. But also it goes on beautifully on the skin. I'll do a little demo because it goes on almost like, it looks like a BB cream, but that's just the natural coloration of some of the antioxidants in here. And it blends in pretty nude on the skin. For my skin tone, you'll notice zero white cast, even though it is a purely mineral sunscreen. If you can see that, it just blends perfectly. It gives a beautiful, beautiful veil of it almost feels like velvet on the skin it gives the most stunning finish to the skin and you can apply makeup after like a minute of applying this let it sink in you can apply your makeup and honestly every day is a good makeup day when you incorporate this product alongside your makeup so so good the reason i call this my like day-to-day -day sunscreen for the days where i'm not getting that intense uv radiation and sitting out in the sun or anything like that is because with it being a slightly more expensive product and with it have such a gorgeous finish you tend not to apply a whole lot of the product and of course an spf 30 is only as good as the amount that you apply so you need to make sure you're applying it as you should and i've covered all of this in a video on how to effectively apply sunscreen which i'll link up there so it's one of those products that i'll wear you know during the day when i'm in the house maybe not going out too much and running more than a couple of errands this is my go-to feels gorgeous on the skin you'll not be aware that you're actually wearing anything at all and it will make every day a good makeup day now the nail survival was a favorite of mine from 2020 that i'm still fangirling hard over but a new product i've discovered is this this is the safe recipe by pestlo now this is a again a mineral sunscreen so like the um, survival purely mineral sunscreen i have got some chemical ones that i'm going to come on to later in the video if that's your preference this is a purely mineral sunscreen and i absolutely love it now the reason i love this product isn't because curse of the size because let's be honest you don't get a whole lot of product though the price isn't too expensive so it's not totally break the bank but it, you don't get a whole lot of product i do find i'm purchasing it time and time again but the reason i do is this is packed full of all the goodies you need for your skincare routine. It's got ceramides in there, big tick in terms of if you've got skin dehydration to support the barrier function, if you've got irritated skin, ceramides are your best friend. It's got panthenol in there, fantastic for calming, soothing, tackling any inflammation, which is like amazing, especially if, you know, let's not forget that sun exposure can be a little sensitizing to our skin, can cause some inflammation and some redness. So this dials it all back so, so good. In terms of how it applies, it goes onto the skin very much white. So unlike the survival, it goes on with a very very white coloration but as you blend it into the skin you'll find it disappears into practically nothing so that's it on my skin tone now of course you're going to have to make sure you match this to your skin tone if you've got a deeper darker and richer skin tone this is probably going to show up as slightly more ashy um, than maybe it would on my skin tone but for anyone my tone and fairer this will be a really great option it's got a very, very light scent to it, but it's nothing that's too overpowering. Bear that in mind if you don't want fragrance in or fragrant components in your sunscreens. But for people that do, it's light, it's summery, it feels great. And honestly, that blends into the skin beautifully. Compare and contrast to the hand, I haven't got it on. Very matte, deadpan matte, which is great if you have oily skin. And it just gives a really, really nice finish. Now, both of those sunscreens that I just referenced are mineral and they're both what I call day sunscreens. So for on those days where maybe you're running a few errands, you're in and out of the house, but you're not laying in the sun, you're not at the beach, you're not exposing yourself to prolonged UV exposure. I think those products will work so, so well for you. They've got you covered and they're just gorgeous on the skin. 
skin. If you're looking for something a bit more heavy duty, maybe you're going to the beach, maybe you're spending a prolonged period of time in the sun, then I would reach for these. These are the skinnies. They do the Conquer SPF 50. They also do the original sun gel, which is an SPF of 30. These are chemical sunscreens, whereas the two before were both mineral based. I don't care whether you use a mineral or a chemical sunscreen, use whatever you want to use. Um, I don't really have a preference, which I know is a little bit controversial because normally on YouTube, it's either you're either the chemical crew or you're the mineral crew. I genuinely don't care. As long as you use one that you enjoy, it feels good on the skin, so you use it day in, day out. That's all I care about. And these are a great chemical option. The reason I love them is they do reef safe versions, they do different SPF values, so you can choose the ones that you want, and they're entirely water free. They're based out of shea butter. So this is like the ultimate find in terms of sunscreen if you have dry skin. If your skin is perennially dry, there's nothing you can do to tackle that dryness these will be your best friend. That shea butter is nourishing, it enriches the skin, and it gives a beautiful veil of hydration. It's a totally, totally unique formula that I honestly haven't found anywhere else. And even on my super oily, acne-prone skin, I find that, you know, it doesn't break me out, doesn't clog my pores, and that is just so, so rare to find in a sunscreen. The one thing I'll call out, and the only reason I don't use this every single day, is on oily skin, it can come off with a bit of a sheen to it. So whereas the two before were definitely deadpan matte, this has a more of a glossy sheen to the finish, which some people like but if you're oily like me you don't need any more sheen in your life i'm going to try it on my other hand because you know i don't want to pack this hand with too much sunscreen so i can show how it applies it goes on like a balm it almost has like a cleansing balm texture you work that into the skin and honestly it feels instantly fabulous zero fragrance to it so great if you're looking for a fragrance free option and that is how it applies can you see compared to the matte you get a little bit you get a very very light sheen to it which some people do really love i guess you could powder over it if you wanted to take that down for the beach when i'm having a picnic with friends i'm at the beach or whatever i don't care i just want that locked in protection and this does it for me every single time now i quickly wash my hand off camera so i can keep testing it because i do want to come onto this product which is fourth on my list this is the make prem uv defense fluid anyone that's watched this channel recently probably knew this was coming because i've been fangirling hard about this product and it featured in my top 10 skincare of 2021 so far which i'm gonna leave a link to that video up there if you want to see some of the other recommendations I just love this. This is actually a hybrid sunscreen. So before I said chemical versus mineral, you know, it's all up in debate. Usually people prefer one or the other. You can get the best of both worlds. I love this product. It's the updated from their purely mineral one, which is now discontinued. And I think it gives a nicer finish. Like um, the Safe Recipe one, it also has ceramides and panthenol in here. So it calms, soothes and hydrates. And it's just an all round great product. In terms of how it applies on the skin, it's almost got like an ivory finish to it, if you can see that. Um, it blends in, I find you have to work this one in a little bit more than you do any of the others that I've mentioned to avoid that white cast. And so it might not be applicable for people that have very deep, dark, or rich skin tones but for anyone that's my skin tone they can work it into the skin for maybe 30 seconds and again it disappears so compare that to the skin is which is a little bit more on the dewy side this is definitely slightly more matte but it's not that deadpan matte that the old make prem formulation was much more hydrated and so i'd say it's applicable for just about every skin type now finally i'm going to call out this product this is the calamine secret sunblock by mk secret so I wasn't a big fan of this when I first tried it, and that's because it has got a lot of fragrance in. However, I do really love the fragrance, and I also love the other ingredients that are in here. It's got a really low dose of niacinamide, which is great as a B vitamin to calm the skin and can also help with evening out the skin tone over time, which is fantastic. And it's also got some really nice soothing ingredients like calamine in there, which is calming, soothing. So it's a really great option if you have sensitivity. The issue is the fragrance means this isn't really applicable for people with sensitive skin. But, you know, even people like me that aren't sensitive to fragrance can have those sensitive moments. And so this is a really great option for that. It's classed as a tone up sunscreen. So it gives a very light brightening to the skin, which means it won't be applicable for anyone that's got a deeper, darker or richer skin tone than myself. I would probably go for the skinnies or I would go for the survival by Neod. Both of those would work better. This definitely gives a brightening to the skin, which is quite nice. If I blend this in, I'll show you what I mean. In terms of how that works. So if you can see, this is the one with the K secret on, this is the one with nothing on. And you can see it gives a very light brightening because it goes on with a pinky hue. This is great if you are looking for that brighter lit from within complexion. For me, I use it because I like the calamine, I like the scent. 
which is light, it's fresh, it's summery, it's everything good that I love. And honestly, I find it to be a really, really effective product. It's mineral, like the first two I mentioned in this video. So if you're looking for a chemical sunscreen, I'd reach for one of the others. This is a mineral option, but it's so, so good. And I think works beautifully on acne, blemish prone skin, because it does give a slightly mattifying effect to the skin, but doesn't strip and dry like some of the other ones can. Now, while these are my five favorite facial sunscreens that give a gorgeous texture, you want to apply them. They are that good. I am going to call out that none of them are the cheapest on the market, but you don't need to worry about that because you know what? I've always said sunscreen isn't exclusive. It shouldn't be so priced that it prices people out of the market. There are some great affordable sunscreens and I'm going to leave a link to my favorite tried, tested and independently verified drugstore sunscreens. That's linked up there. Definitely promise me you'll check that out because if you're worried about the price point of any of these products, it's not to be exclusive and to say to people, if you can't afford good products, there's no point using them. This is definitely not the message. You reach for that video and all of the ones mentioned in there, some of which are as cheap as $2. Honestly, it will give you all the protection you need. These are the ones that I'm fangirling about at the moment. And if you know you have a little money to splurge and you want to enjoy a slightly different product, maybe a unique formulation, these are the ones that I go for. But definitely don't feel that you can't afford sunscreen. Reach for those drugstore options that will honestly, some of them, stunning. So definitely check out that video. Wherever you are in the world, guys, take care, look after your skin and enjoy that summer sun. Goodbye.